Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Today is Friday the 26th of April and it is 10 degrees Celsius. And I'm going to North Carolina with one drop and Georgia with three drops. So we've got a good trip. I really need it, so we're certainly not going to complain about that. They've pulled this one out the hat. And I'm just looking for the trailer that I need to be picking up. So let's get it done. Half past six Friday evening now and I'm down in Wisconsin. I've actually already passed Black River Falls. I'm heading down to Moston for tonight. Probably get a Chinese. So that's a really good good day on your first day. It means there's been no hold ups at all getting to Moston. So we should be there in about 45 minutes. As you know, um, I ended, well, I'm saying as you know, if you watched the last video, you will know, I ended that in Beaver Trucks when I was dropping the truck off. So, it turned out they fitted the compressor line, which, uh, well, I was paying for anyway. And the check engine light I had on was the death level sensor. I, I told you that in the last video as well. But it turned out they had, they had one in stock. So by Wednesday, I think it was about nine o'clock, half nine, I got the phone call to say the truck was done, it was ready. So I, that was fantastic and then today being Friday I got back out on the day I wanted which right now is highly unusual. But we're not complaining with a run like this getting out on the day you want. So we've already done over a thousand kilometres today and the trucks run fine. I've had no issues with it at all today so far. I'm hoping I don't get any. Been a bit of a miserable day though. At this, uh, at this rain off and on all day. Sometimes a lot heavier than this. And for this area, they are actually forecasting thunderstorms for this evening. So. Another 45 mile down the road, and that'll be me done for the night. Go in and get a... Uh, there's a Chinese buffet right there in Moston, you park right at the Chinese buffet, so... Looks like that's what we'll be doing. And I'll see you guys in the morning. I'm on the toll road heading into Chicago here now. It's quarter to nine Saturday morning, so I'm hoping with it being Saturday it's not going to be too busy. A lot of traffic around, but this, this is nothing compared to what it's usually like. So hoping for a smooth run through Chicago. And the plan for tonight is... Got none. <laughs> We're just going to get as far as we can tonight. So once I've stopped for my break later on, I'm going to stop, have a shower and stuff. Then we'll see how far we can get, we'll, we'll have a workout then, what we've got left. And 
I'm hoping that's only going to leave me about five or six hours for tomorrow. Tried phoning my delivery because I've had a look on Google Maps. It looks like you can park right there outside. But I tried phoning them yesterday and they're not even open on a Friday. And according to the according to Google, it don't open till nine o'clock on Monday. Well, I need them open earlier than Monday if I have to. I've got a, my third drop is an appointment Tuesday afternoon, uh, Monday afternoon, sorry, for three o'clock. And if I have to stand any chance of getting that off, I need to be unloaded and out of there before nine o'clock on Monday. So, it is what it is. I can't get in touch with anyone at the, at the customer, so we'll see what time they show up on Monday. But I'm just going to head there and park there anyway. I've tried, as I said, I've tried phoning them, can't get hold of anyone. They weren't even open yesterday. <laughs> but looking at Google Maps, there's enough room to park, so I'm just going to go there anyway and park there tomorrow afternoon. Or tomorrow, whenever I get there. It's going to be an early finish tomorrow. But we'll get fuel somewhere on the way down. So I don't have to be stopping for fuel on Tuesday or Monday afternoon. Because I've got a busy day. So I am hoping to get the three drops off on Monday. If not, it could be a problem because, as I say, the third drop is uh, appointment only. We'll see how it goes. So as we get closer to Chicago, I'm, I'm going to put a few clips together of getting through Chicago. Well, I'm not actually going through, I'm going around Chicago. But I'll put a few clips together, I haven't done that for a while. And we'll be back when we've made the decision on where we're going to get to tonight.
Sunday morning now, half past six. Well, half past six central time. It's half past seven local time here. And I'm at Lexington, Kentucky. So things didn't really go according to plan yesterday. I just crossed into Kentucky at Cincinnati there, just Cincinnati, Ohio. You cross the river and you're, you're already in Kentucky then. I just got into Kentucky and there was this almighty bang. I thought a tire had gone or something like that at first. So I'm watching all the tires that I can see and decided I need to go to the next truck stop or the next rest area just to have a check over. When I noticed I was losing air. So, long story short, I managed to get off the interstate and into a truck stop. I didn't manage to get packed up. I'll put a couple of pictures up now of uh, where I was. But I was actually in the middle of the truck stop, uh, blocking people in, they couldn't get out. They could drive round me, but the ones that were already parked couldn't get out the parking spots. But I had I'd lost all air by this time. Suspension was that was gone. Everything there, you know, the airbags were down. So, quick look around. Starts the engine up, and discovered what. I thought sounds like the purge valve has gone. So there's a shop at that truck stop. I went up to the shop and booked it in. They said uh, there'll be a while. They couldn't get it. This was only, I think this was about two or three o'clock in the afternoon, maybe a little later, but they couldn't get it in till late till the evening. So I decided I'd start crawling around underneath, which in itself, for somebody built like me, isn't the easiest of jobs, I can tell you. Had to take out the centerpiece of the catwalk so I could drop down between the chassis rails along the, alongside the drive shaft just to get underneath. And on further investigation, it was, it was the, the purge valve. It failed, so there was going straight out. wasn't going to the tanks. Just uh, well, it wasn't holding any air pressure. So, a little bit more investigation online. Being YouTube, YouTube is king. I found out how to bypass the air dryer. So, with the help of another driver down there, whose name is Chance from Fort Worth, hats off to your driver, thank you very much. And JT in the shop, who actually lent his tools, we got the job done. Stuck there for about two and a half hours, and luckily, no one actually wanted to get out the parking spot, they were staying there. So, lucky that I hadn't blocked the whole place up. That there was someone else there, just to, well, just to give support more than anything. And uh, JT in the shop for lending his tools. I do have tools with me, but I needed a bigger, Couple, well, they needed two bigger adjustable spanners just to disconnect the airlines. Mine were just millimetres too small. I went into the, the store to buy some and they didn't have any. And I know technicians, fitters, mechanics, whatever you want to call them, they're, they're not keen on lending their tools out, and I totally get that. I know what I totally understand why. 
but JT did and fair play to him so we've bypassed the air dryer and for now everything is running okay but I need to get that done being a Sunday of course there's nowhere open to get anything done on a Sunday So I'll see what my reload is. I want to get the, these deliveries done first. See what my reload is, see where that's going and decide from there whether I get it done on the road or, or if I can maybe get it straight back home. I would like to get it back home but it, it depends on the, the reload as well. So, all fun and games. I've had nothing but trouble with this air system since they've done that work on it with the timing plate and everything else. Nothing but trouble. It's been tw into Beaver twice now. Put different things replaced on the air system. And here we are yet again needing a new air dryer now. I'd like to think that's the end of it, but I haven't got as much faith as that. So, anyway, I didn't get as far as I wanted to last night, but it still only leaves me about six and a half hours to do today. So, still not the end of the world, we're still on the road, we're still getting it done. This is I-40 in North Carolina now. It's an absolute stunning part of the country. Hard going in a truck. This whole stretch of I-40, we're not allowed to use the left lane. Uh, this, this section here is 50 mile an hour speed limit for trucks. It's up and downhill, it's got all the twists and turns on it. It's hard going. More suited to a motorbike than a truck. But stunning all the same. Beautiful part of the country. Got 25 degrees this morning as well. So it's a, a lovely day. But Apparently, we've got some uh, stop traffic up ahead as well. Satnav's telling me a 12 minute delay and the matrix signs are actually fl flashing to say there's stop traffic ahead. So, I don't know if there's roadworks or what's going on. But we've got some slow traffic somewhere up ahead anyway, according to the signs. Lights coming on up ahead now. So, that'll do us for now. I'm only 177 kilometres from the delivery. So, an hour and three quarters under normal circumstances, but we'll see how long it takes with this. So, I've arrived at my first delivery. I didn't expect anyone to be here on a Sunday. The place wasn't even open on a Friday. But... It's an absolute perfect place. 
for a really quiet overnight. There's a car park just to my left there in the car park. So I parked there and I've had to walk around and I walked down here to make sure I could actually get down here and turn around. I wouldn't want to drive down here and find out I'm stuck till somebody comes in in the morning. But the whole yard, you'll see it as I turn here, but the whole yard opens up into a nice big yard. Two unloading docks for inside and then we've got an outside loading dock there as well which I think will probably be the one I use because it's higher than the other two the other two look like it's only for their own vans but yeah this is uh, going to be a pretty nice place just to park overnight. Certainly get no hassle in here. I'm going to turn it round and just back it up against the wall there. And when they come in, I think it'll be that loading dock, the outdoor one, right there in front of me now. That higher one, I think it'll be there I'm going to be unloading because that's the only one that's high enough. So lovely stuff. And that will do me till tomorrow. And I'll be back then, guys. It's only quarter past seven local time here. And I've already got my first drop off. As you've seen in the earlier clip, I stayed there overnight. Lovely and quiet. And there was the one other truck of their own in the, in the car park there around the back. It was about quarter past six local time this morning uh, and I had the windows open it was a lovely evening quarter past six this morning I had the truck start up so I got up got dressed and he said yeah he'll be in in about 15 20 minutes or so then he came back out in 10 minutes and he said he'll be opening the door in a minute so I pulled forward So I backed up tight against the dock there, but I pulled forward. They came out, checked the seal, opened the doors, and we got out of there about 15 minutes ago. We were out there for seven. So on the way to the second delivery, that's uh, 329 kilometers away. So want to get that off before lunch. and be out of there because then my third one is the one with the appointment that I need to make at 3 o'clock this afternoon so as you can see we're still on the skinny roads here we're heading back down towards Shelby a quick look at the, the sat nav here see which way it's trying to take me
Anyway, we will be back later on today. So we had a busy day today. Quarter past three local time and I've got three drops off. I've only got two pallets left on from the last drop and I'm heading over there now because well I'm in Atlanta and Atlanta is an absolute nightmare to get parked anywhere and this last delivery has overnight parking so we're going to go there and make use of the overnight parking whether I'll get unloaded tonight or not is another thing but even if I do I'll, I'll just be staying there the night anyway no point in going anywhere by the time I'm unloaded I don't know what I'm doing yet once I'm empty could do with finding out this afternoon and once I'm empty in the morning I can just get on with it then I don't want to be hanging about waiting to find out what I'm doing but yeah pretty good day so since this is a bit of a longer trip exit right then take ramp ahead I'm gonna I'm going to end it here and I'll start the next video on my way to the reload I don't want to make it a big long one it, it drags on a bit then doesn't it so take ramp ahead then keep right we'll cut this one off right here so thank you for joining me as always, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one guys, cheerio for now.